With the made in Toronto romantic comedy The F Word in theatres on Friday, Double Take goes beyond the wand to look at the grown up world of Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe. Radcliffe is now 25. In fact, he marked that birthday in Toronto on July 23rd when he was here to promote The F Word, which is opening in the US with the less cheeky title, What If. It was the sixth time I've interviewed the actor and he remains a consistently charming, modest guy with a strong work ethic and a great sense of humor. He greets you with a hug and says, call me Dan. Here's a look at Daniel Radcliffe's recent, more grown-up movie roles. The F Word. Radcliffe plays med school dropout Wallace, who has to manage serious feelings for graphic designer Chantry, played by Zoe Kazan. But she has a sweetie and just wants to be friends. That's the F word of the title. It's the first contemporary role for Radcliffe and a very romantic one too. And Toronto gets plenty of lovely screen time. Kill Your Darlings. Set in 1944 New York, Radcliffe played the young beat poet-to-be Allen Ginsberg in this art house drama alongside Dane DeHaan. The Woman in Black. Radcliffe's first post-Potter role saw him play a young lawyer who travels to a remote English village to unravel the story of a vengeful ghost in this 2012 drama. Coming in October, Horns, based on the Joe Hill thriller. Radcliffe plays a man wrongly accused of his girlfriend's murder, and he has a devil of a time convincing people of his innocence. Well, that's it for Double Take for this week. For all you need to know about movies, check out the Toronto Star and thestar.com.